A potential setback for NASA, a tool for future moon missions, could be in trouble. Last week, the spacecraft launched from New Zealand for the moon. Now NASA says it's lost contact with the Capstone satellite. News 6's James Barvero explains what's at stake. Onward to the moon for the capstone mission. A successful launch last week and then Monday a successful separation. But now NASA says it's lost contact with its first spacecraft flying for the Artemis program. Ahead of the first launch of the 322-foot space launch system, a satellite the size of a microwave is leading the way toward NASA's return to the moon. In its update Tuesday, NASA says there are now communications issues. And those working on the mission are now trying to reestablish contact. They had some initial contact that went very well, and then during the second contact, they lost communication. So NASA doesn't know why they lost contact. NASA says if needed, Capstone has enough fuel to delay an upcoming maneuver on its path to the moon for several days. The satellite uses its own propulsion system and the sun's gravity, which NASA says dramatically reduces the amount of fuel it needs. After its expected arrival in November, Capstone is supposed to spend six months testing a lunar orbit NASA says its future space station, called Gateway, will take too. Eventually, NASA says astronauts will dock with the Gateway before heading down to the lunar surface. What is at stake for NASA and the Artemis program should the mission not be a success? It's not a do-or-die mission, but it is important to help get the team ready for when the first elements of the Gateway launch. NASA says it will release another update on the communications issues as soon as possible. And whenever we learn more, we'll bring you those updates as well. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.